Well, Paula, tonight, a lunchtime lesson in domination from a chess master holding court out of all places, South Station. Of course, it's a game of focus, it's a game of strategy, and a game of patience, and being able to look ahead several moves. So it's a tough mental contest, but what if you're playing many games all at once? That's what happened today in Boston, and it is remarkable to watch. Good luck, everybody. My name is Larry Christensen, Grandmaster, former U.S. champion. Today here at South Station, I'll be uh, doing a simultaneous exhibition, playing up to 20 players at once. You heard that right. He's going up against 20 players. Larry Christensen is a three-time U.S. champ and a chess grandmaster, one of about 100 in the U.S. That's the highest level next to world champion you can reach in the chess world. And every month, Larry takes on all comers at South Station. I've never played a grandmaster in my life. It's part of an effort to bring more vitality to the commuter's hub. It's always fun. It's fun to engage with the public, bring new people into the game. But how does he do it, spending just seconds at each board? The whole circuit will take maybe two minutes. It's like he takes a snapshot and needs just a glance to make his next move. They always have a trick up their sleeve. You have to be ready. You always, I always ask, okay, what's the dirty rat trying to do here? He's very good. <laughs> As, uh, that's pretty much all I got to say. I mean, he's uh, definitely beating me right now. But sometimes, though rarely, he actually loses. It happens about one out of 100 games. It does happen, more than lightning strikes. It's really fun because you get interact with real chess players. And that's the goal, to learn. In chess, if you make the same mistake 10 times in a row, you're, you should take up checkers. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just heard Larry say that he loses about one out of a hundred matches. Well, get this. Yeah. Today, he had 55 wins, one draw, and two losses. Wow. So, but I'm taking his advice. I'm sticking with checkers. <laughs> Absolutely. Those two winners must have walked away feeling pretty good. Oh, yeah. Pretty good. And they didn't even make our story. <laughs> I know, those poor people. We didn't even name them. Awesome. Well, let's